Okay, let's see how we can do one of these gizmos. Uh, now that you have your username and password so that you can log in, um, you can click here where it says find gizmos to find the gizmo that's assigned. So for this case, we're gonna do one on waves. So we'll type in the word waves and we have some choices. We're gonna just click on this one, select waves. And what you can do is you can either click here to launch the gizmo or you can click on this button over here that says launch the gizmo and then it will load. So here is the actual gizmo itself. Uh, and for this particular one, you're going to be able to make some waves. Uh, there's some controls over here. If you hit play, then the gizmo will generate some waves. And it does that based on the different criteria that are listed down here. You can pause it at any time, and then you can reset it. Uh, if you reset it, you can use these sliders to change amplitude, frequency, tension, and density. So if we change the amplitude, we make it a little bit bigger, and then we play this one, notice that this wave is a lot bigger. And then we can go pause it and reset, and we'll bring it right back to where it was. 20 was the, come on, there we go. Uh, we can turn the lights off to make it dark. You can see there's the dot. You can put grid lines. You can put a ruler. Uh, there's also some tools that are listed over here. So you can take a screenshot, so if you click on this, it'll take a screenshot of wherever the gizmo is paused at that point. You can drag one of these arrows out so that you can have it point at a different uh, place. And then you could take a screenshot if you like. When you're done with it, you just drag it back to the tools. Uh, you can turn the sound off, there's also a help uh, button that's there as well. So for this particular um, gizmo, uh, if we go up here where it says lesson info, if we click this down arrow, we have two things. You can have it in uh, Microsoft Word or a PDF, which I prefer. Um, I would recommend first clicking on the vocabulary sheet, and it gives a PDF, PDF of this. You don't have to print it out, but you can have it listed right here on your screen. And you should notice that some of these words are similar to the ones that we'll use in our class. And then there's also the student exploration sheet. And this is the guide that will take you through the activity for each of the gizmos. Um, you can print this out if you'd like, but you don't have to. You can just simply write down the answers in your notebook and that would be fine. Um, it gives you the vocabulary, it gives you some questions before you start the gizmo, and then some warm-up things. Um, it will give you the instructions very explicitly on what you're supposed to do, the settings that you're supposed to uh, input, and then what you're supposed to press, like play, pause, reset. And then as you're doing that and you have the gizmo working, you write down uh, your answers, again, either on this, if you print it out, uh, you could type it if you wanna do that, uh, or you can also do it on a piece of paper. For this particular gizmo, it gives us uh, an amplitude of 20 centimeters, a frequency of 0.75 hertz, the tension is three newtons, the density is one kilogram per meter. So if we go back to our gizmo, we'll make sure that we have that correct. So we've got, let's put this back up. We've got our uh, 20 centimeters, we've got our 0.75, we've got three newtons, and we have uh, one kilogram per meter. So for this first one, it uses a transverse wave, and then we have some other options as well. There's something called a longitudinal wave, and if you give that a play, you can see that one looks very different from a transverse wave pause and reset. And then there's another type of combined wave, which is transverse and longitudinal. Pause and then we can reset. So that's how you use the gizmos. Uh, very straightforward. Use the student exploration worksheet to guide you through the gizmo. And always recall the vocabulary that's uh, embedded in this gizmo as well. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know, and good luck with your gizmos.